Hello and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to discuss the topic inserting a node in a linked list. So there are basically uh, three cases uh, to insert a node inside a linked list. The first one being in the front of the linked list. Let us make it the first element in the linked list. The second case is uh, adding a node after a given node. And the third case is adding a, uh, a node at the end of the linked list. So in this video, we are, we are going to discuss all three of them one by one. So the first uh, case is add a node at the front. So this will be a four step process and we'll see how. The new node is always added before the head of the given linked list. So when you are adding it uh, node to the front, so you are going to add the new node uh, before the current head and then the uh, new node will become the new head of the link list so if you are given this link list 10 15 20 and 25 and you and you need to add 5 to the front of the link list so the new link list will be 5 10 15 20 25 and the pointer pointing to the 5 will be the new head and we'll call the function push. So the function which adds the new node in the front of the linked list, uh, we are calling it as push. Uh, so let's look at the code. So if we have the function push, which uh, doesn't return anything, but it takes uh, two arguments. The first one is the pointer pointing to the uh, head pointer. So notice the double star here. So this is because this is actually a pointer which is pointing to the head pointer. So the double pointer basically. And the uh, data part, the new data which is to be inserted in the new node. So as we know that it is a four step process. So we first of all allocate the memory using the malloc operator. And we allocate the size of the structure node. So we do that. Then in the next step, we uh, assign the data part. So the data part of the new node becomes the new data, which is actually passed as an argument to us. Then we make the next pointer of the new node as head. So note that the current, uh, we have to place the new node before the current head. So that means the R in the modified link list, R head should be pointing to the current head. So we do the next pointer of the new node. We assign it to the uh, current head. So note that we had a double pointer here. So it was pointing to the head pointer. So to get the value of the head pointer, we do a star head ref. Then we finally uh, move the head pointer to the new node. So we assign the head pointer as the new node. And so we have inserted the node at the front of the linked list. The time complexity of this uh, push function is actually order of one because it is, do it is doing co uh, constant amount of work. Uh, it, it doesn't uh, really uh, care about what's the length of the linked list or what, what are the number of elements in the linked list. It, it's actually a constant operation. So the time complexity is order of one. Now uh, let's look at the second case, which is add a node after a given node, which will be a uh, five step process. So we will, we will be given a pointer to a node and the new node is to be inserted just after the given node. The time complexity of this function insert after will again be order of one because it will be doing a constant amount of work and we'll see how. So this is the uh, insert after function, which again, uh, the return type is void because it doesn't need to return anything. Uh, it, it takes as an argument uh, two, uh, two things. The first of all, the uh, previous node pointer and then the new data. Now uh, in this five step process, uh, first, the first step is to check if the previous node is null. If that is the case, then uh, this uh, we cannot basically add a node after it because it's already null. So we uh, say that the given previous node cannot be null and then we return. If the previous node is not equal to null, which means that 
it link left have it has at least one element so then we uh, do the uh, two steps which are common as in the previous example so we allocate the new node uh, and then we insert the data part then we have the step four and five wherein we uh, update the next pointer of the new node to be the next pointer of the previous node so uh, whatever was the next element of the previous node now becomes the next element of the new node and our pre the next pointer of our previous node becomes the new node so because we are inserting the element after the previous node so the next pointer of the previous node will point to our current node so we have updated the uh, pointers in this way now uh, let's look at the third use case wherein we have to add a node at the end which will be a six step process and we'll see how so the new node is always added after the last node of the given linked list so if you have a linked list say 5 10 15 20 25 and you have to uh, add the item 30 at the end so this becomes the updated linked list with 30 at the end now since uh, the linked list is typically represented by the head pointer of it so we'll have to traverse the whole linked list and reach the end and then we uh, basically attach the new node at the end so let's look at the code so we have the append function which takes as an argument uh, two things first of all is the pointer pointing to the head ref and then we have the new data now uh, we uh, first of all allocate the memory then we also store the uh, last pointer basically that is the head ref so this will be actually uh, used in the step 5 now we put in the data part so this is also again the common step in the last uh, two examples also then we do uh, when uh, the next pointer of the new node as null so we are assigning the next pointer as null why because uh, because this is going to be the last node so its next pointer will be null we know that up front so that is why we are assigning the next pointer as null now we check if the linked list is empty because if the linked list is empty that means that the uh, value of head ref is equal to null so we can insert the element right there so then the value of head ref becomes the new node and then we return if that is not the case uh, that is not the case and we have at least one element in the linked list so then we'll have to traverse the linked list so we traverse the linked list till the point we reach the last element so at the last element the next pointer of the last element will be null so at that time this loop will break and then we just update the uh, the next of the last pointer for whatever is the current last element so we assign the next pointer of it to a new node and then we return so that is a very simple way of adding the node at the end of the linked list now the time complexity of the append operation becomes order of n why because we have to traverse the whole linked list so if the linked list has n elements so we'll have to traverse through n elements uh, also there is a loop from head to end and so the function works in order of n work now this method can also be optimized to work in order of one time complexity but for that we'll have to keep an extra pointer to the tail of the linked list so that is all for this video thank you very much